Well, hello from Kingston. If you live in the city, you're probably pretty familiar with one of these, a fire hydrant. But did it ever occur to you to ask, how do they manage without them in the countryside? And Kingston's area has a lot of countryside. Well, the answer is they use tanker shuttles, water tanker shuttles. And we're going to look at the way they're trained and accredited in this video. But please be sure and watch till the end. There's a little postscript there that I think you'll find interesting. Thanks for watching. The sight and sound of a fire appliance responding to an emergency is something with which we're all very familiar. But I wonder how often we think about what goes in to that response. This weekend I had the opportunity to watch the Kingston Fire Service and others gaining accreditation for their water tanker use. Accreditation involves an independent assessment by an outside body of the ability of the department to meet certain norms for the delivery of water. This assessment occurs every five years and it's linked in a way that I won't even try to explain to the assessment of insurance rates for particular areas. In the countryside where no hydrants exist, tankers are required to travel to the nearest fill station like this one, serviced by a pumper. The two and a half thousand gallons of water then aboard the truck are carried to the scene. One or more tankers will then discharge their water into temporary reservoirs, which are actually carried aboard the trucks. A pumper truck then draws from the reservoir and attacks the fire. Successful accreditation of the service is based on both the maintenance of water supply and the rate of flow seen being measured here. During accreditation, trucks may run several circuits of a predetermined length that realistically relates to a rural emergency. When all goes well, as it certainly did last weekend, crews get to stow the equipment, including the reservoirs, and assemble for a debrief and confirmation of accreditation. But testing and accreditation are not an end in themselves. Fire service crews train every week for the tasks you've seen. When you next pull over for a fire appliance, Give a little thought to everything that's gone into their preparation and say a little prayer for the firefighters aboard. So here's your postscript and thanks for waiting till the end and watching the whole video. The day after the accreditation exercise, the crews were called to a fire well outside the city on Highway 2 near Howe Island. So this process of training and preparation is really important and the crews train every week for just such an eventuality. Again, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel.